Hello, everybody. You're on the mic. And on today's episode, I'm going to continue um, a little bit of a series I've done. You know, I, of course, you know, right now I'm going through some of the some Marvel comic characters who have been featured on animated cart slash cartoon series. Um, going through some of the actors who have lent the actors and actresses who have lent their voices to those characters. Today's um, episode, we're going to focus on Iron Man. Iron Man slash Tony, Tony Stark. So, without any further ado, let's get started. So, a Marvel comic superhero Iron Man, also known as Tony Stark, made his first made his first animated. Um, Appearance in the 1966 Grant Grant Ray Lawrence animation production of the Marvel Superheroes, which was a basically a syndicated cartoon series that aired Monday through Friday, with with a different hero being featured each day of the week. In the case of Iron Man, he was featured on Tuesdays, and he was voiced by John Vernon, who of course would later go on to voice Rupert Thorne in um Rupert Thorne in um Batman the animated series in the um in the you know in the nineties. He would also well he would also voice Namor in the Marvel Superheroes on his and I'll talk more about that later in the week. But John Vernon, Canadian actor, voice actor, portrayed Iron Man in the nineteen sixties in the nineteen sixty six Marvel superhero show, um, Marvel superheroes show by Grant Grant Ray Lawrence. Then, as we come into the nineteen eighties, um, let's see. Um, Iron Man made a few cameo appearances on the solo Spider Man series in nineteen eighty one, and then he actually had had um. His speaking appearance is more as Tony Stark in the 1981 series Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends, voiced by Will by actor William H. Marshall. Um, most notably, of course, um, he was featured as Tony Stark in the origin the the origin of the Spider Friends, which um, which he was a central character in which. The Beatle had um, stolen a, a power booster and crime detection computer from Tony Stark. Spider-Man and, and Spider-Man, Iceman, and Firestar got together and retrieved retrieved the the stolen items. And in gratitude, Stark gave them the computer detection computer to put to good use in their crime fighting. Um, in their crime fighting. Um, Endeavors. So, um, so yeah, William H. Marshall would provide the voice of Iron Man in his in his speaking appearance on Spider Man and his Amazing Friends. Then, as we move into the nineties, nineteen ninety four was a big year as a num as um as you would have a number uh, um. Um, as part of the Marvel Action Hour, Iron Man had his own series in which he um, which he teamed with a group known as Force Works, which includes Sentry, War Machine, Scarlet Witch, Spider Woman, and and um, Hawkeye, taking on the Mandarin and a team of villains that, that he put together, including Dread Knight, Nosha. Um, Blizzard, Black Lash, Great Gargoyle, Living Laser, Whirlwind, and Modoc and Justin Hammer. A number of um, ro throughout the nine throughout the majority of the nineties, Robert Hayes would provide the voice of Iron Man from his own series to his guest his well he had a non speaking cameo on Fantastic Four. And then in his appearances on the Spider Man series of nineteen ninety four 
um, Robert Hayes would reprise role, of course, in the two-parter involving Venom and Carnage, as well as Secret Wars. And Robert Hayes would also reprise his role in the 1996 Incredible Hulk animated series. And then in 1999, during the Avengers United, United They Stand animated series, um, which was done up in Canada, of course, um, Iron Man was voiced by um, Francis Dikowski. Now, I believe this was, this was produced out of... Um, out of Toronto, so probably why you don't know the name. Um, but I think, you know, basically I think some of the voice actors who worked on the X-Men series of the of the um, of the early 90s were also on this show. So let me just see here. Developed by Fox Studios. Okay. Yeah. It was co produced in, in the US and in Canada, but. Um, so, yeah, this was. The, it was Saban International, it was a distributor. For that series, but United They Stand, um, which was shown on Fox, of course, on Fox Kids, um, but in 1999, um, Iron Man was voiced by Francis Diakowski. Then now, as we head into the 2000s, Iron in 2007, Iron Man appeared in the Fantastic Four: World's Greatest. Heroes um, animated show in Shell Games, um, based I guess on the movie of the time. We, um, at this, you know, Fantastic Four: World's Greatest Heroes is of course um, recorded in Vancouver, I believe. I think it was recorded at Ocean Studios. David K. Most, notab most notably, the voice of the first um, Sashomaru from Inuyasha, as well as Professor X from X Men Evolution, provided the voice of Iron Man in um, in Fantastic Four: World's Greatest Heroes. Um. um. Yeah, I'm just trying. And I think the recording for this series was done done at um done in, in Vancouver. There's David And then in two thousand nine Iron Man starred in his own series, Iron Man Armored Adventures, voiced by Adrian uh Petru. Here I think they have the um Okay, maybe not. Adrian Petru voiced Iron Man, Tony Stark, Iron Man Armored Adventures. And then also beginning in 2009, Iron Man was voiced in the Superhero Squad show by Tom Kenny. We talked about yesterday. And that's where I'm going to end that now. The 2000s. Oh. So. Okay, with that being done and said there, um, all that being said and done, let's take a look on this date in Nietzsche history, today being July 20th, 2020. Let's go back and look over some stuff that has happened over the years on this date in Nietzsche history.
So first off, we go back to we go back about 30 years ago today. Um, on July 20th, 1990, in which first comic um, released on the newsstand the 60th issue of Dreadstar. Dreadstar was a comic that was started by um, it was a bi-monthly series that was started by Marvel Comics imprint um, Epic Comics back in 82, um, but then eventually taken over, starting with issue 27. So on this date in 1990, the 60th issue of Dreadstar, by Fir published by First Comics, went on the newsstands on this date in 1990, 30 years ago today. Then as we move ahead to 2010, on this date 10 years ago, in 2010, Viz Media released, um, on this date in 2010 was the DV, it was the Viz Media DVD release, or uh, the Viz Media North American DVD release of the anime Vampire Night. The, the a Vampire Night anime DVD was released on this date, um, in North America by Viz Media. On, on this date in 2010, 10 years ago. So on this, so Vampire Night, was uh, Vampire Night anime DVD was released on this date in um, North America. Also on this date, as we move ahead five more years to 2015, on this date in 2015, Monday Night Raw was held was held at the Sprint Center in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, it was the night after after Battleground, which marked the return of the Undertaker and getting his revenge against Brock Lesnar for breaking his streak. Also on on the on the night um, in the main event, in a six man tag match. Um, United States champion John Cena, Randy Orton, and um, Cesario defeated the team of Rusev, Kevin Owens, and Sheamus, among some of the other um, other um, matches on the night included Charlotte defeating Brie Bella um, once again via submission after having won the WWE Women's um, Championship. Um, the Big Show squashed the Mi uh, The Big Show squashed Miz, um, and then set his sights, of course, on on Intercontinental Champion um, Ryback, who had retained his title the night before in the Triple Threat match. Um, Roman Reigns, with some help from Dean Ambrose. Um, defeated Luke Harper by a disqualification, and then um, the representing team Beautiful B A D Beautiful and Dangerous um, Naomi and Sasha Banks defeated um, representing team Paige Page and Becky Lynch via submission, um, and Los Matadores with some help from. Um, Help from the from the new day defeated um, the primetime players, so getting them back into the. So that's all that happened on this date, 2015, on Raw. Um, to the um, now moving ahead three more years to on this date in. On this date in um. 2018 on this date in 2018 the rise of the Ninja Turtles made its debut on Nickelodeon rise of the Ninja Turtles made its debut on on this date in 2018 so, 
that that's all that happened on this date in on this date in history. Um, as all you know, um, if you guys would like to contact me, if you guys would like to contact me, check the links below. My Discord link is down there. You can direct message me on Discord. Um, um, I usually will get back to you. Also, I'm still, of course, promoting a bunch of different dub companies as um, still promoting a bunch of different dub companies as um, as there's a lot of work out there. You guys can check out if you'd like. Um, so Funimation is not the only game in town after all. You know, there's other companies. There's you know, great talent up in Vancouver, up in. Um, Calgary as well. Houston's got some good voice work going on there. LA and New York. So a lot of stuff you guys can check out there. Um, also, I'm still promoting Vix GoFundMe. Um, as always, guys, never feel like you have to donate. If it's on your heart to do so and you have the means to do so, please consider donating. If you've already donated, please consider donating again. And if you cannot donate, you can still help out the cause by sharing the link. If sharing is caring, you never know. Maybe somebody in your circle of friends may want to help out. You never know. It doesn't hurt to ask. And if you like this content, I, I please ask that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I would look forward to the conversation with you guys as long as it's civil and respectful. Um, you know, and with that, until tomorrow. Oh, okay. Awesome. This Friday, don't forget this Friday will be my next um, VA premiere. This week I'll be um, taking, I'll be highlighting um, Shiara Zani, um, known, you know, known for her work on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, among other things. Um, she, she was Jubilee in X Men Evolution. I'll be, you know, so I'll be I'll be highlighting Vancouver, you know, Vancouver-based voice actress Shara Zani, and also um, my next live stream will be this Sunday night. I will be making a major announcement on that, um, so you guys might want to tune in for that. I'll also be covering. Um, I'll probably be talking about something revolving around cartoons, animation. So. Um, I'll have more of that information up probably later today. So I hope to see you guys at the premiere and the um and the live stream on Sunday. And until tomorrow, bye.